word that the honesty comes from, from observing life or from... Uh, well, as a writer, yeah, it's from observing really yourself as a writer. I mean, we are all different sorts of people rolled into one, and a writer has to be able to listen to every part of himself, at least I do. So that's where it comes from. I'm a big liar myself, and so liars always know where the truth is because they need to know what they're hiding. So that's where it comes from for me. I'd seen her work. You know, I, I really loved her work. I just think she's amazing and completely... Um, natural and everything comes from inside it's impossible I think for her to do something false I just don't think she's able to do it and so I just loved her work and she agreed to do it we met for lunch and we liked each other immediately and we had a wonderful time working together she's wonderful to work with she's very collaborative extremely intelligent really valuable ideas and fun so we had a ball when she left the movie, you know, because we only did it, like she worked for eight or nine or ten days, and it was sad. I missed her. I called her a couple times after that and said, I miss you. Come back and help me, because she was so helpful. Um, I don't know exactly how I created it. I mean, Don's script, I think, a couple of things. It, it just sort of viscerally hit me in some way. It sort of grabbed me, and I thought okay, that's something I kind of need to go through. Um, and I can't really tell you exactly why. And then also, I mean, it was just such a major challenge, I think, which is, I think, what good writing often presents. You know, here's somebody who's really easy to judge. You know, especially before she's a real human being, when she's just on a page, even easier to judge, I mm -hmm. think. Because she lies and she seems to be manipulating and... How could I play this person? Uh, how could I, Maggie, find myself in a situation maybe where I was sleeping with a son and also his father and not be a villain, you know? So just in, like, working out that conundrum, I guess, came a person, you know what I mean? And, um, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then, you know, it's really, like, there's Tom and there's Jason and they, I mean, there's this one great day that I think about with Don because I came into this movie at a moment as an actress feeling really um, like I had to protect myself. Like, I know what is right for this person I'm playing. I know viscerally, I know intellectually, I know. No director can be able to help me. And Don was really, I thought, like, immediately really kind of observant of that, which is kind of a weak place to be and very much like Jude. I know what's right. I know what's, you know, and this person's sense of what's morally acceptable isn't actually that interesting to me. And, you know, very Jude-like. And I just, he sort of observed me. There was this one day when we were shooting that love scene with, uh, with me and Jason. It was in the very beginning. Mm -hmm. It was, like, maybe the fourth day or something. Yeah. And um, I was just getting kind of, I wasn't, I didn't just have this open flow of, oh, well, whatever's happening is fine. For some reason, I felt really kind of blocked and defensive. And he kept coming up to me and talking to me about stuff. And I was like, great, great, whatever. You're really, you're not going to be able to help me. You're the director. <laughs> Directors don't help me. And then um, and he gave me this great direction. He said, he said, um, I think you just, maybe you should respect him a little more. And I just went, that's totally my way of thinking about everything and yes and it just opened up a whole new thing for me you know that's the hardest thing is to play some play that scene with uh jude and otis where she respects him it's easy to make the choice that like yeah i'm gonna sleep with him whatever to respect him and find him interesting and worth cracking open that's a whole nother thing you know so don you know <laughs> somehow this movie was very kind of it was uh, not easy to do, but there was an ease about it. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't like, I didn't feel like I was struggling through something. Um, I've talked to you since about projects where I felt like I was just like struggling through. And those ones often leave more residue, I think. But I, like I said, I mean, I think part of the reason I wanted to do this movie was because somewhere inside me unconsciously, I think I went, okay, that's something I need to work through. And then in working through it, obviously, yeah, I do learn something always. And, um... I mean, this movie, I think, made me wiser. I mean, in the way that the movie is wise. You know, the movie that's like a really wise... It's saying a lot of wise things about family, about sex, about pregnancy, about 
intimacy and I learned a lot of the things that I think the movie is trying to teach its audience you know god it's I mean sometimes it does go together and sometimes it's completely two separate things it's I think it's easier to be physically intimate with somebody to really let people know where you're scared and where what threatens you it, it doesn't feel good I think to do that and so naturally that's a harder I think intimacy is very very difficult for people honestly to say I need something because I'm I'm small and I'm weak and I need something is really really tough mm -hmm. and I don't usually do that you know I mean with these actors for example we were able to be intimate because nobody pretended to know everything uh, you know the actors were open I was open the DP was open everybody on the set was like well I could be wrong and w you know what's going on so we were able to have like a kind of a working intimacy that was really it filled us with a lot of great feelings for each other by the end of the picture yes we worked together before and I, I, I love her because she, I think she's an incredible actor I think talent is a, is a very rare thing in our business and uh, you know, there's stardom, and then there's also talent actors who are uh, able to show you what a human being feels like or is feeling. And she's one of those people. And she's also a friend, and so I'm always seeing her and thinking of her and imagining things about her. So I went to her first.